Today's topic is about memoir writing. If you have five minutes, I have five tips to help you write yours. You don't have to be a writer to have considered writing your memoir. In fact, many memoirs are written by people who are not essentially writers. You also don't have to have lived a long and accomplished life to write a memoir. I think Prince Harry's recent memoir comes immediately to mind. But sometimes people have done something or have had an interesting phase in their lives, and these are the kinds of things that form the elements of a good memoir. Much of what you need to know about writing a memoir is very much the same as any kind of creative nonfiction because it is narrative creative nonfiction. And the other thing about writing a memoir is although it is nonfiction as a general rule, the fact is that many of the elements of writing fiction are also used in writing memoir. And before I get to my tips, I have to confess that I wrote a memoir some years ago. I happen to be the mother of an elite ballet dancer and that ballet dancer is a young man now. But when he was a little boy and he went off to ballet school when he was 11 years old and I became a ballet mom, there were so many interesting things that happened as a result of that and so many questions that people had and asked me about it that I wrote the story. Now remember, it was my story. It was not his story of being an elite ballet dancer, which he was. He became he eventually went to Europe and danced, etc. But the story was my story. The story was of being a ballet mom. It was my experience. And that's what the most important parts of writing a memoir is figuring out what it's all about. And I'll get to that in my tips. Before we start, I want to differentiate between autobiography and memoir because they are not the same thing. Generally speaking, an autobiography covers an entire life from the beginning to end. It is the, bi the biography written by the person who lived the life. It's almost like a tally of everything that happened in the life. Memoir is quite different. Memoir usually focuses on a particular aspect of someone's life or a particular period in someone's life. And it is not written as a tally and it is based on memory and what the memories mean and what the memories have evoked. That's why it's called memoir. So remember, it's not the same thing as writing your autobiography when you get toward the end of your life. A writer by the name of Bill Rohrbach wrote a very interesting and useful book called Writing Life Stories, which I would recommend to you. And here's how he defines memoir. A memoir is a true story, a work of narrative, built directly from the memory of its writer. Memoir arises and exists only because of the first person singular, the I remembering. Now remember, an autobiography is also written in first person, but it's not the same thing. Okay, so here are my five tips. Tip number one, before you begin, determine your central theme or focus. I can't stress this enough. This is an extremely important part of writing a memoir. You don't just sit down and start writing a stream of consciousness about what happened. You have to think about this. This will be the guiding framework for your book. When I think back about my own memoir that I wrote that was published by a small publisher in Canada, uh, there was a specific theme and the theme of it was to be that a, that a parent must prepare the child for his path, not the path for the child. And that became the focus around which the whole story was told. You need to have the same thing for your memoir. Tip number two, be honest and authentic. Now that doesn't mean that every detail of what happened, you have to meticulously root out the truth of it. The truth of it is in your memory. It's the truth of how you remember it. The honesty part of it is meaning that you don't embellish things with untruths. You don't have people asking later on, did that really happen? Recently, when Prince Harry wrote his memoir, there were many questions about whether or not there was a, the honest truth about specific things that he related. And on, interestingly enough, when there are other people involved, it can be very problematic. So be honest and authentic. Tip number three, structure your memoir. Now this is extremely important for it to flow properly. And there are various ways that people can structure a memoir. Quite often a memoir is structured chronologically and that works very well because there's a time frame that, it's, that it works within. 
but it's not the only way to structure a memoir. You can also structure it by themes, themes that you might focus on particular aspects of the life that you're trying to remember, and you do it that way, and they may overlap in terms of time frame. That is another way of doing it. So think about this, do a little research and figure out the best way to organize and put a framework underneath your writing. Tip number four, develop vivid and sensory descriptions. This is fundamental to narrative nonfiction and creative nonfiction. What you want to be able to do is to put the people in the places and the time frame so that you give them something to fill their senses, what they see, what they hear, what they smell, um, how they're feeling. These are all of the things that must come from you because you're writing the memoir, but be sure to put those sensory elements into your book. Tip number five, reflect and provide insight. Writing a memoir is a wonderful opportunity for you to be able to reflect on that portion of your life that you're writing about, but it also is an opportunity for you to provide some insight that might actually resonate with your readers. You've obviously been on some kind of an interesting journey that you thought of enough to want to write about it, so that journey might have some wisdom in it for other people. Mind that by providing insight rather than just relating the details of what happened. Your readers may be able to take away valuable lessons. Writing a memoir is a deeply personal process. There are no actual rules. These are tips to help you get started and to move through it. Good luck with your memoir. Subscribe to Write, Fix, Repeat. And maybe I can help you improve your writing knowledge and skills. Five tips at a time.